Good morning, Internet. It's Adam Bate here from Web Savers. It is uh, Tuesday, May 15th. And this morning we're going to do a quick demonstration video on uh, setting up uh, 301 redirects using Plesk. Now we've had a number of questions regarding sort of setting up uh, redirecting sort of one website to another, um, when you should do it, how you should do it. Uh, and so today we're just going to do a quick demo video on just that. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your Plus control panel. Um, you can get there through the, our client center on websavers.ca. Click on client center in the upper right. And this is the information that you uh, created your first account with us with. So in this case, we'll just log in. And once you're inside the client center, there should be a button right here that says login to Plesk. Once we click that, it'll bring up our Plesk login. Um, we won't have to remember our Plesk username and password because it brings us right inside. Uh, so in this demo account, I have one domain, websaversdemo.com. So if we go to this um, domain, you can see that it's just our landing page ready for content. Um, so it's a new domain set up, you know, ready for us to uh, to tackle it. So. What we're going to do, as I mentioned, we're going to set up a 301 redirect. Now what a 301 redirect is, is it's a permanent redirect. So if you are, say, rebranding your domain or your business, um, in this case, say you want to move um, your URL or your website.com to your website.ca if you're bringing it into the Canadian space or vice versa or if it's you know oldbusiness.com and you're looking to rebrand to newbusiness.com um, you're going to redirect your old site to your new site using this permanent 301 redirect. Um, the way we create them in Plesk is very simple. We're going to use HT access files um, and we can do all of that through our um, our, f our online FTP through Plus. So let's just log into the domain, click on Web Savers Demo or whatever your domain name is, and the file manager or the online FTP. We'll click on File Manager here, and basically this is just a web-based FTP program that you can sort of see the content of your website. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a file. In this case we don't have an HT access file we can see here. Um, it should be in the format .ht access. So what we're going to have to do is add a new file. Name it .ht access. We don't want to use HTML template. Click OK. Um, UTF-8 is fine, convert to Unix style is fine, and the only thing we're going to need in here is the line to redirect our website. Um, so in this, the first example I'm going to do is I'm going to redirect the entire site, websaversdemo.com. If I refresh that, same page, I'm going to redirect this to websavers.ca. So the format is redirect 301 slash for sort of the root website and then space and the new website you want to put in including the HTTP. So HTTP www.websavers.ca. So again it's redirect 301 um, to tell it that it is a 301 not a 302 or a temporary redirect but it's a permanent redirect. Um, we're going to redirect the slash or the root domain to websavers.ca. Click OK wait for that to load on the server. You can see the new file here, .htx, um, .htaccess, sorry, and it's it's in the it's in the HTTP docs folder just like anything else would be. So if we go back to our website, we're going to click on this again to refresh and it should take us right to websavers.ca and right away it does. Um, so that's all there is to it to use plus to set up a redirect or a 301 redirect. Um, it's also important to note that you can redirect individual pages. So say for example um, you know you're transitioning your website from an old HTML based website to a new um, you know WordPress or other content management system. Um, now what happens most of the time your your site structure is going to be different. So instead of you know yourname.com slash services.html, um, you may have you know yourname.com slash services. 
Um, and what will happen is if sort of indexes, or sorry, if Google has um, your old files indexed in their websites, they're going to continue sending visitors there, and they're going to get 404 page not found errors every time they land on them. Um, so what we can do is just click on HT, HT access, load this up, uh, edit. So we're going to need to edit this file. And we'll take out this redirect because we don't want to redirect the whole thing, but we want to redirect pages internally. Um, what we're going to do is set up redirect 301, so the exact same thing, and in this case slash services.html, and then space, and then the full URL to where we want to redirect that to. So in this case, we're going to leave it as websaversdemo.com, but we're going to do slash services with a slash. So if, for example, we created the services page uh, within WordPress or Joomla or another CMS, um, and we want to sort of forward our old um, structure, which would be the services.html, for example, to the new one, this is how we'll set it up. Um, it's the exact same way as we did it with the, the root domain, except you're going to choose the individual page um, to get sent there. Now, for example, if you had, um, say, um, programming services.html, and maybe you were combining sort of all your odds and ends into one sort of more comprehensive page, um, you would sort of forward with a 301 redirect all of these old pages to your new one. Um, so you can do 301 redirect slash programming services um, dot HTML to the new services page. So let's just save this. Um, and so we can take, give you an example. Now we're going to get a 404 um, not found anyway because these files don't exist on on our domain but to give you an example we'll do web savers demo so the, the root domain works just fine um, and we'll do services.html and what should happen is that this URL should change to slash services without the HTML and it does it is we get the 404 anyway um, that's just because we haven't created this page on this domain, but you can see that it does forward properly. Let's do programming services, and it also forwards to services. So that's all there is to it. Um, you know, 301 redirects are very powerful. Uh, they pass sort of page rank and inbound links. Um, so if you know if your domain is sort of a high page rank or a well ranking domain. Um, and you're a little bit scared as to you know what will happen if you rebrand and transfer domains. As long as you use the 301 redirect, your website should rank. Um, given that everything else is is the same, it should rank um, around the same location and the same spot that you were ranking previously. Um, all the bonus from those links and that page rank will be transferred to your new site. Uh, and that's all there is to it. If you have any questions about 301 redirects or need a hand with anything, uh, please open a support ticket with us or um, get at us on Twitter at twitter.com slash websavers. And thanks so much for watching.